Neom is a futuristic city that Saudi Arabia is building on the Red Sea coast. It's designed to be sustainable and innovative, with a focus on renewable energy and new technologies. The centerpiece of Neom is The Line, a 100-kilometer-long linear city with no cars, roads, or emissions. It will be powered by 100% renewable energy and will feature a variety of cutting-edge technologies such as high-speed transportation systems and vertical farms. In this video, we'll take a closer look at The Line and three other significant projects within Neom, Trojina, Sindala, and Oxagon. Now let's jump straight into the video. The Line – Saudi Arabia Megacity Ambition The Line is a proposed linear city that is part of the Neom project, a futuristic megacity being built in Saudi Arabia. The Line was announced by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in January 2021 and is designed to revolutionize urban living. The line will be 170 kilometers long and 200 meters wide, with two colossal 500-meter tall buildings running parallel. It will be home to 9 million people and will be powered entirely by renewable energy. The city is designed with people's health and well-being in mind. All residents will have access to green spaces, schools, healthcare facilities, and entertainment within a five-minute walk. A high-speed rail system will connect the two ends of the city in just 20 minutes. The line is still under construction, but progress is being made rapidly. The excavation site for the primary structure is well underway, and key infrastructure, such as roads, offices, and logistics hubs, is 20% complete. Neom Community One, a nearby community that will support construction of the line, is now fully functional with housing, education, worship, and even a Starbucks. The line has attracted global attention for its ambitious vision and innovative design. However, it has also faced criticism, particularly over concerns about its sustainability and human rights impact. The line is projected to have a carbon footprint equivalent to over four times the UK's annual emissions. This is due to the massive amount of energy required to construct and operate the city. The city's developers have pledged to use renewable energy sources, but some experts question whether this will be enough to offset the city's carbon emissions. The line is being built in a region that has a history of human rights abuses. The Saudi government has been accused of forcibly displacing indigenous people to make way for the Neom project. There have also been reports of labor rights abuses on the construction site. The line is a controversial project, but it has the potential to revolutionize urban living. The city's innovative design and focus on sustainability and well-being make it a vision for the future. However, the city's developers need to address the concerns about sustainability and human rights in order to ensure that the line is a success. Trojina Imagine a winter wonderland in the desert. That's what Trojina, an ambitious new luxury winter and skiing destination in Saudi Arabia, is all about. Trojina is located in the Neom region, a vast mountainous desert area. It's a unique and challenging project, as it must be completed within six years in order to host the prestigious 2029 Asian Winter Games. To make Trojina a reality, extensive excavation work is underway. This is to create space for a massive man-made lake at the heart of the project. The lake will provide water for snowmaking as well as for other recreational activities such as swimming and boating. In addition to the lake, Trojina will also feature a vertical village carved into the mountains. This village will house hotels, restaurants and shops as well as luxury residences. The foundation work for the ski village is also in progress. This village will have 55 kilometers of ski slopes, ranging from beginner to expert levels. Trojina is partnering with some of the world's leading hotel brands, such as Ennismore and Minor Hotels, to bring upscale hotels to the destination. These hotels will offer guests a luxurious and unforgettable experience. While progress on Trojina is evident, there are some concerns about maintaining a winter destination in an environment with rare snowfall. To address this, Trojina will use artificial snow machines and large amounts of water and electricity. However, some environmentalists worry about the impact of this on the region's fragile ecosystem. Despite the challenges, Trojina is poised to become one of the world's most unique and luxurious winter destinations. With its stunning setting, world-class amenities, and convenient location, 
Trojina is sure to attract visitors from all over the globe. Sindala Sindala is an 840,000 square meter island resort located in the Red Sea, off the coast of Saudi Arabia. It's part of Neom, a futuristic mega project that's aiming to create a new model for urban development. Sindala is designed to be a world-class yachting destination. It has an 86-berth marina that can accommodate yachts up to 75 meters long. In addition to the marina, Sindala will have three luxury hotels, a Four Seasons, a Marriott Autograph Collection, and a Marriott Luxury Collection. These hotels will offer a variety of amenities, including spacious rooms and suites, restaurants, bars, spas, and fitness centers. Sindala will also have a championship golf course, a marina village with shops and restaurants, and a variety of other recreational facilities. Visitors will be able to enjoy swimming, sunbathing, water sports, and hiking. Construction on Sindala is well underway, and developers are aiming to open the resort in 2024. Marriott International and other leading brands are committed to meeting the opening deadline, making Sindala one of the most advanced projects in Neom. Sindala is poised to become a premier luxury destination for yacht owners, travelers, and businesses alike. It's the perfect place to relax and enjoy the finer things in life, while also experiencing the wonders of the Red Sea and Neom. Oxagon Oxagon is a floating industrial port city being built in the Red Sea off the coast of Saudi Arabia. It is one of the 10 regions of Neom, a vast mega city that is being developed as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan. Oxagon is designed to be a sustainable and innovative city. It will be powered entirely by renewable energy, and it will use advanced technologies to reduce its environmental impact. The city will also be home to a variety of emerging industries, such as green energy, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Construction on Oxagon began in 2022, and some infrastructure has already been built. A new port is being constructed and a number of buildings have been erected. A community of residents has also been established. However, progress on Oxagon appears to be slower than on other Neom projects. This is likely due to the complexity of the project, as well as the challenges of building a city on water. Despite the challenges, Oxagon remains an ambitious and exciting project. It has the potential to be a major hub for trade and commerce, and it could help Saudi Arabia to diversify its economy. Here are some specific details about Oxagon. The city will be octagonal in shape, with a diameter of about 5 kilometers. It will be home to over 40,000 people. The city will have a range of industries, including green energy, robotics, artificial intelligence, and advanced manufacturing. Oxagon will be powered entirely by renewable energy, including solar and wind power. The city will use advanced technologies to reduce its environmental impact such as smart grids and water recycling systems. Oxagon is still under development, but it has the potential to be a major hub for trade, commerce, and innovation. It's an ambitious project, but it is one that could help Saudi Arabia to achieve its Vision 2030 goals. Final Verdict Neom, Saudi Arabia's ambitious megacity project, is making significant progress on several fronts. The Line, a linear city designed to be car-free and sustainable, is well underway. Trojina, a sports resort of the future, is also taking shape. Sindala, an ultra-luxurious island for wealthy visitors, is expected to be completed first. And Oxagon, a new generation port and green hydrogen hub, is on track to be operational by 2025. However, challenges remain. Sustainability concerns are a major issue, as Neom is located in a desert region. Human rights issues have also been raised, with some critics alleging that workers are being exploited in the construction process. Despite the challenges, Neom remains a fascinating project with the potential to change the world. It will be interesting to see how these grand visions materialize in the years to come. If you're excited about the future of the line and you want to stay up to date on the latest construction updates, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll be sharing all the latest news and footage from the construction site, so you can be the first to know about all the exciting developments. We're also excited to hear your thoughts on the line. What are you most looking forward to about the city? What do you think it will do for the future of Saudi Arabia and the world? Let us know in the comments below.